should I fight a lawsuit when I don't owe the money? Okay. Uh, the vast majority of HELPS clients that contact us, uh, if they get sued, uh, you know, they want to know, well, do I need to file an answer and fight the case? And I, and I say, do you owe the money? And they invariably say, yeah. And I said, well, your income is protected. Uh, they can't collect from you. Uh, um, you don't need to file a lawsuit. They'll just get a judgment. It's uncollectible. You're judgment proof. But occasionally, a client might get sued and for whatever reason, they don't believe they owe the money. Okay? Uh, um, and you can always choose to dispute and fight a lawsuit if you want. Um, but if your income is protected, if your only income is Social Security, a small pension or, or pension, and uh, I mean, if you do nothing uh, and they get a judgment, they can't really collect from you. So for a lot of seniors, it could be a real headache to fight a lawsuit for different reasons. Uh, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to do it. Uh, um, helps doesn't represent people in court. Uh, we don't, you know, give advice on how to file answers and that kind of thing. Um, if you've been sued in a small claims court, then that court is designed for people to represent themselves. In fact, attorneys normally are not allowed to be in small claims court unless it's an attorney representing a corporation. But, you know, the judge is used to having people represent themselves in small claims court. That's what it's designed for. So, you know, if you've been sued and you don't owe the money and you want to dispute it in a small claims court, yeah, you can do it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, if it's regular court, you could dispute it. Judges usually bend over backwards for people who want to represent themselves in court. Um, but the problem is, you know, it usually costs money to file an answer and people get upset or they worry about, well, what do I write? How do I dispute it? I mean, you could Google and search, you know, how to respond to a lawsuit and how to file an answer. But sometimes I'll tell people that don't owe the money uh, or say they don't owe the money. A lot of times they might really owe the money. It's just, you know, they believe for whatever reason that it's not just or maybe the interest is, shouldn't be what it is. But if your income is protected uh, and Social Security and a pension uh, and your lower income and don't have anything else that they can, you know, I mean, you don't have to file an answer. You can just let them get a judgment and it's, it's absolutely meaningless. Um, so I guess that's the message is that um, even if you owe the money, or even if you don't don't owe the money um, and you're judgment proof for the reasons that we've talked about here on helps, uh, you know, your income, Social Security or pension and it's pr protected, it can't be taken from you. Even if they get a judgment against you, they can't collect from you. Um, but if that really, you don't like that idea, you can always choose to fight the lawsuit. But I guess my message is, if you, if you don't owe the money, you can also choose to not file the lawsuit and say, so what if they get a judgment? I'm not going to have to pay it. So that's the message. Um, it's up to you. You can fight it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, especially if you owe a bunch of other debt, okay? Uh, and this is just one of them. Then, yeah, you know. So what if you let that one go bad and they get a judgment? It's just one of one of many other debts that you owe. So it's not going to be a problem. Now, I suppose if this was the only single debt you owed and you didn't owe it, you had a legitimate reason why you didn't owe it, then you might want to choose to fight it just for the sake of sake of, of doing that. But bottom line is, if you are sued and you legitimately don't owe the debt, you can choose to fight it if you want. But if you're on protected income, you can choose not to fight it. 
It won't change anything. They can't be able to, they won't be able to collect from you. So hopefully this answers that question. Uh, and uh, my name's Eric Olson, uh, Executive Director of HELP's nonprofit law firm. Our message to seniors is that federal law protects their Social Security, their pension, their disability, or VA benefits. Can't be taken from them, it's protected. Under federal law, if you're represented by an attorney, debt collectors have to leave you alone. That's what we do is represent seniors nationwide who owe debt they can't afford to pay in order to stop collector harassment. We also educate seniors how they can maintain their financial independence. So hopefully uh, uh, this may have answered a question you have. You can look at other videos on our YouTube page and please subscribe to our, our YouTube page and you have a great day.